Okay, hi everyone. So I want to do a brief tutorial on how to use Screenomatic if you're choosing to use this for your annotations this week. So um, I should be in a corner of your screen right now. Um, I'm going to hide myself for one second and then I'll bring it back to the other screens. Basically, I have um, our Phyllis Wheatley page up here and we're reading some poems, for example, by her this week. If you chose and wanted to go through and annotate her poems and we're doing this via audio and video, I like this feature because you can have the poem up and talk about it. You can be highlighting, you can go and refer back to other pages if you want to while you're on here, um, and just really kind of go through line by line as much as you'd like to with this. You can completely hide yourself from it. You can do, as I'm back, a split screen, or if you even wanted to do a full screen, which I'm sure you're all loving my full screen face here right now, I'm going to go back to the side view and then eventually to hidden. Um, I like this because you can do it in 15 minute spurts, so you can create two different videos, two different audio for each one that you use. I use this all the time for recording notes online for this class and other classes. And as I said next week, we're going to be using a annotation feature called Hypothesis, which uh, will allow us to go in together as groups and partners and individuals and really annotate different parts of a text. I thought this would be better practice for everyone just to A, get everybody comfortable with the audio and video online, which is not always easy. I know it can be really awkward. I'm Even after all these years, I still think it's awkward sometimes sitting here and, and it, it's awkward having yourself on the screen or hearing yourself. Um, so don't be frightened by it. Whatever you pick to choose, whatever poems that you're annotating for this week, um, have fun with it. You know, it is just me listening and watching to these first ones. Eventually, yeah, of course, we're going to share with our peers and keep doing that as well. But I do really like this feature. It's entirely free. I know there's a lot of other ones out there too. You're welcome to use other apps. You're welcome to use QuickTime. You're welcome to use whatever you feel most comfortable using. Um, this just happens to be one that I think is pretty easy for everyone to kind of get along with. So this is just one example. You can go back to different frames on here. You can also explore some other pieces too. And this is how I always will post sort of extra notes and things that we're doing for our classes. So I'll bring myself back into the screen here, and there I am, and I hope this helps a little bit. You can use the link that's in the um, forum post to where you can reply back with your own sort of annotations and have fun with them. Um, it is meant to get everyone used, like I said, to just speaking and working um, in video context online before we get into some more formal apps with that too. So let me know what questions you have, and I can't wait to hear your annotations.